Noel, here we are, 48 hours away from the very first lacrosse match in Whitworth University history. How excited are you and the team about this? Um, they're really excited, and so am I. It's been a long time coming, so we're just excited to finally get a full game in. We had a scrimmage a couple weeks ago. Um, that wasn't a full match, so we're just excited to get out on the field and play for a full 12v12. Uh, you've uh, been practicing for about a month, and uh, for much of that time you've had to deal with the elements outside, the snow and the ice and a cold field, and talk about as a coach how you use that as a way to train your student athletes to be ready for whatever they face on the lacrosse pitch. Well, we like to get outside as much as possible so that we can play um, with the full length of field, the full width. That gets us going more, gets our legs moving, and then also gets us in game shape. So we're going to be running the whole field for the real games that we face, and that's going to help them, especially with the change in the weather. So when it's really cold here and we have home games, we're going to be ready for them versus some of the other teams, maybe not so much, since they get to practice in shorts out um, in Portland. So. So we're going to be playing against Johnson and Wales University from Denver. What do we know about uh, this team that we're opening up against? Well, they're just switching to D3 from NAIA, so um, you know they're going into a, a different division and at NCAA. Um, they've got a good chunk of new freshmen coming in this year, so we don't know much about them except from their game on Sunday that they played against Willamette. Um, they got some fast girls with a lot of speed, so just stopping them um, on the fast breaks and slowing their offense down. Um, our defense has been going strong and really coming together, so that will be um, helpful for us in the first game. And then just working with getting the ball moving on our attacking end to beat their defense. So they have a couple speedy midfielders. Um, we just need to be able to capitalize on their mistakes.